no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I just got back from the Cayman Islands where I was investigating the shady world of tax havens. And I know your first thought is, you expect me to believe you went to the Caribbean just to do work? That's like saying you had sex with a supermodel only because you wanted to finish your photo project entitled The Many Faces of Disappointed Supermodels. But you can actually believe me on this because I'm one of those weird people who hates hot beaches, doesn't collect tax-free wristwatches, and doesn't enjoy turtle burgers. So the Cayman Islands is genuinely a miserable place for me. Over a hundred billion dollars is lost in U.S. tax revenue each year to tax havens. Everyone from Mitt Romney to Google to Apple to Shakira uses offshore accounts to make sure they aren't paying the proper amount. But the term tax havens sounds a little too friendly, a little too polite. Really what these corporations and <laughs> are avoiding is contributing to the society that made them possible. It's a big <laughs> you to the invisible hand that fed them. So let's stop calling it a tax haven and instead call it a societal contribution avoidance scheme. And instead of an offshore account, call it a trader account. These are traders. These are people whose allegiance is not to the country that made them rich, but to the money itself. $32 trillion. $32 trillion is sitting in trader accounts around the globe, not being used, not helping a soul. Let's make a new kind of money that spoils after a couple of years. Maybe it could be made out of, out of yogurt or cantaloupe or pepper jack cheese, and if you don't use it, it turns to pulp and smells of death. Or worse yet, smells like Frank Luntz in a sauna surrounded by piles of old guy underwear. Work, work on getting that image out of your head. Anyway, I and a small team went down to the Trader Account Central and decided to try and get our own offshore address. Because going there and not getting one would be like going to Thailand and not getting a Thai lady boy. Or, or going to the shish kebab place in my neighborhood and not getting dysentery. It just wouldn't seem right. But for some odd reason, the people working in the Trader Account locations and the International Monetary Authority of the Cayman Islands we're not happy to speak to us on camera. We heard turn that camera off more than Sharon Osbourne hears. What exactly is it you do again? If these trader accounts are supposedly legitimate business dealings, then why so secretive? Why have shell companies and blocker companies? Why hide every detail of what goes on down there? Maybe, just maybe, it's because the traders are trying to cover up their treacherous, treasonous, traitory, traitorness. These people and corporations want to suck up every benefit of the United States or whichever country they happen to be in. They want the customers, the roads, the police, the infrastructure, the laws, protection, and pornography. But they don't want to contribute to make sure it's a thriving society. They want all the freedoms, powers, and rights, but none of the responsibility. And they'll keep stealing money from their fellow citizens until they're stopped. The Cayman Islands used to be where pirates would hide their booty. And now it's where modern day pirates do the same. The R stands for Romney and Ryan and other ruthless million and billionaires. And they've replaced their hook hands with laptops and Botox. Romney wants to cut Big Bird in public broadcasting in order to save the mere $167 million it will receive in the coming year. He could get 600 times that much by closing the trader accounts that he and his friends enjoy. That's been your moment of clarity. If you want to see the final video of our investigation in the Cayman Islands, just go to OperationCaymans.com. It should be up in the coming week or so. Also, tonight in New York City, I'll be performing at an event also featuring Jill Stein, presidential candidate for the Green Party, and hopefully I'll have her on the MOC podcast in the coming days. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.